Hey everybody out there, my name is Dragnix and this is Paparazzi. This is the $3.99 title on Steam. It's 20% off till February 24th. It is a cat and mouse game that I want to go into a little bit. It's a game that I, I will not be playing a lot at all, in fact, and that's the kind of gamer I am. But I wanted to show off the game and then go into some of the mechanics of it. So you, here you see what is going on. Um, you got two characters. You got the paparazzi and you got the celebrity. The paparazzi is trying to take pictures of the celebrity and the celebrity is trying to avoid the paparazzi. The idea here is that the paparazzi controls in the PC version, obviously, the mouse trying to take pictures of the celebrity on screen. If he hits him within that box, he gets money. And that shows the power of the money in terms of that top um, portion on there, the top uh, bar in question. The, the paparazzi will do its best to try to, you know, find them wherever they are. The celebrity, on the other hand, will either do a couple things. He'll dash across the screen to try to avoid the box in question. He will hide along the items in the um, map so that he can hide, and if he's behind something, you can't take a picture of him. And three, he will pick up power-ups in which to try to help him with. For example, you see the banana, well, the banana's a bad one. It'll actually force you to stop. But if you see, like, the fans there, he'll pick it up and it will move it, the bar accordingly towards him. Now, simple concept. Some good power-ups mixed in. You can mess around with the power-ups, uh, how frequently they drop, but a la Super Smash Brothers. But it starts to go into the problem, it goes into problems early. Um, one of the main problems with the game is that the maps always stay the same. While the power-up locations will change, the map's always the same in terms of the generation of the map from what I see, and that's a major problem with this game, because that will get old rather quickly, especially for somebody who plays the game over and over again. Now, you see here that I'm hiding among, uh, among the things. I can go into this, like, sewer portion here, and I've gotten, you know, across the screen. Dashing seems to be reasonable against the computer, which is something I need to talk about. This game was not designed in single player in mind, that's for sure. You can see it with the power-ups, you can see it with the AI of the computer, and it just is one of those situations where I felt like the single player was developed for the sole purpose of showing, showing that they had that little portion on the Steam store page, or the store page of, you know, the Wii U PS4. Um, which to me is wrong. The fact is, is the multiplayer experience here may be local and it may work for people, but the single player has so many flaws with it that it's not going to be fun after like the third time, in my opinion. It wasn't. Um, you just get a little bit more frustrated and get a little bit more like, why am I playing in this? Um, let's go and play. You've got a couple of characters here. They don't have any unique skills. So it's not like you, your character choice really matters. Maybe with blending in in the environment it does, but really your character is so small compared to the rest of the screen that it's hard to do. Now you see here, I'm able to use the environment rather well because I know I had played this portion a couple of times. And so I know where everything is. So I'm doing rather well at the start here. One problem I do have with the controls is the way you dash, it's just a dash forward or whatever direction you're going. And it's not, it's always the same length of that dash. So if you overshoot, well, that sort of sucks. Now I understand why they did that um, because they want to make a little bit of challenge for the um, popper, or another paparazzi, the celebrity in question, but it also feels loose in terms of controls. I see you got a whale there. I have a power up that makes me fast, which actually can work really against you because you'll be out in the open a little bit. You have to sort of change your strategy up. Now. Again, part of the problem is that the strategy portion of this, there's only a couple things you can do and it loses its effect over time. I'm gonna play this portion again at the start here to show you exactly the fact that you're pretty much playing the same starting portion here. I mean, literally, the people are in the same locations, the houses are in the same locations, and you see where ma the major problem there is. If somebody's played this multiple times, they know where the ho houses are, they know where everything is, and Honestly, that makes it easy to be able to sort of predict the ultimate path. Now, maybe the paparazzi is able to know that and is able to adjust accordingly. But in this case, I see the celebrity having the major advantage because of the way that he can hide. If he just hides among things rather well, the paparazzi is not going to be able to get him rather at this point. 
So that does earn a problem there. Um, Graphics-wise and music-wise, reasonable. I mean, for a four dollar four dollar title, it's not. I mean, I'm not expecting you know, the world. It's got that pixel look. It's got a, a relatively unique look. And so I'll give it that. Um, it's got that feel. It's got the the um, feel down at this point. So, all right. So I think at this point I decide that I want to show you a little bit of the multiplayer. Except, well, here's the thing. I don't have another player to play with locally at this point. So what do I do? Well, I try to play it, you know, with both hands at this point, just to show you guys what the multiplayer portion is in terms of like the mouse controls and everything like that to get an idea of what's going on. So it's a little bit weird and it's not going to be very fun to watch, but the mouse controls are solid. They react rather well. And unlike the computer where you see it like sort of drag along the screen, you have full control over it, which obviously is a huge factor in this. You see that I'm only doing one at a time here because, well, again, I'm not three-handed, unfortunately. But you see that the environments are different in terms of the six maps, but again, it's not enough. Now, I also wanted to show one other thing for you guys, and that's the AI. So let's go and play on very easy, just to show you the levels of the AI in question. Let's let's play on Wellington. Let's play um, Tuke here, and this is a voiceover. Um, I didn't want to do this during gameplay because I wanted to be a little bit more in depth with what I was talking about. Um, so here you can see here, very easy. Yeah, it's not the the, the AI is not putting up a very much of a fight. Okay, that's fine, but okay good it's slow i don't know who in their mind would find this entertaining even children would be a little bit bored but i do find it weird that in the um single player you can only play it as the um celebrity i'm not sure why I, to me if you're gonna choose one it would have been made more sense to choose the paparazzi as the player at this point because that seems more dynamic and giving the eye to the celebrity would be make more sense to me but they made it their choice i guess i have to respect it um but i think it's a wrong choice but then again i think single player doesn't work for this portion unfortunately so honestly the, the lack of power of variety and power-ups is a problem the lack of like like uniqueness of characters is a problem I see a lot of problems with this, and I can't recommend it over a period of time, especially because it's gonna get samey. It's gonna it's gonna be like a, a one-shot wonder, unfortunately, at this point. And it doesn't have, even though it's only four bucks. I, I mean, there's so many good games out there that's four bucks, and even the game that I looked at yesterday, uh, the uh, uh, Veteran Warriors, has said something that felt unique about it. Here, while it's got something different and some interesting concept, it just doesn't stand out to me now you see the very the very hard mode it's just on you like that at this point there is absolutely no way that you're gonna win this um unless if you've played the map several times and understood where everything is it's not fun i mean it, it's it's designed to be a multiplayer experience like i've said and i really really have to say that that shows in the gameplay but other than that if you're looking for a local multiplayer experience and this looks fun to you, what I what you've seen on screen is what you get at this point. So if you're willing to spend four dollars on this, go right ahead. Um, I myself, again, I'm not I'm more of a single player person. I will play multiplayer games with a group, but I prefer single player experiences when trying out new games. And this is just nothing special to me. Alright, so this is Dragnix, this is Paparazzi, it's four. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback in comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnix signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.